Welcome to Success Stories in Steuben County, created and implemented by the fourth grade class at Pleasant Lake Elementary, edited by Austin Van, and supported by the FIST grant and MSD of Steuben County Schools. Hello and welcome to Success Stories in Steuben County. This is episode eight. I'm your host, Sophie, and today I'm here with Mr. Graber. Thank you for taking time out of your day today to come to our school and be interviewed. First, tell me a little bit about yourself. Well, I was born and raised here. Um, I've been in the construction industry for about a lot of the last 30 years. I have three sons and a daughter. Um, and I'm very excited to be here. How did you get this job? Um, through past experiences, I've, I've worked, like I said, for construction companies for quite a while. And, um, my boss came to me with a job opportunity and I took it. How do you think your job affects the community? Um, we, we build a lot of things for the college and we do a lot of work for the hospitals and we do a lot of work for many of the the different bigger bigger organizations around town, including a lot of charity stuff that we also do as well. That's nice. How much training do you need in order to become a construction worker? Um, at entry level, it takes a while. Um, it, it depends on which level you want to go to. Um, typically, someone where I am at, it's it's twenty years. 30 years. It's a long time to get there. Do you need a specific wait, do you need to go to college to do what you do? Uh, not necessarily, no. Um, nowadays, a lot of people are going and getting their construction management degree. Um, but you can also learn it from the bottom up, being part of a uh, learning it hands-on if that's more your style and then you can become man you know more into a management role at that point okay do you need a sp- do you need to have a specific gpa for your job no no you, you you need to be willing to learn you need to be willing to show up every day and you need to be willing to work hard did anyone inspire you to start doing your job? If so, who? I would say my dad. He um, he got the interest in me in the wood shop many many years ago, and and um, it you know what started kind of as a hobby has turned into a career. If you're willing to share, what was one struggle you have had along your vocation quest? Oh, boy. Well, um, keeping up with um, keeping up with the, the load, the work management, the amount of work, the load, um, that's, that's a constant struggle. What is one fear you still have today that you would like to share? Well, in my industry, um, a fear that is always out there is if the economy would crash, then my work would slow way down. That's that's always a fear that, that everyone in this, this business would have. How did you overcome these challenges? You you just you keep pushing through. You um, no matter what the market does and the with the volatility of things and the price of goods and um, you, you just keep pushing through and, and take what you have and you make the most of it. Nice. What is one quality you have found in yourself? What's that? What is one quality you have found in yourself? Uh, perseverance. Um, you're going to have your good days. You're going to have your bad days, but that goes with any career. You, you always have to keep pushing through and putting your best foot forward giving it your all. What quality do you think you need to become a construction worker? You, you need to be a hard worker. 
Thank you again for coming to our school and allowing me to interview you. I would like to thank my editor, Amelia, for helping me make up questions.